I again. <laughs> so I get asked a lot, you know, why are you always so barefoot or how are you able to walk on like gravel and different, you know, terrain like that. And um, it's actually something you do have to work back into your system. But first, why would you even want to be barefoot in the first place? So not only is being barefoot, of course, more natural, it's easier for our feet to be able to adapt to the ground, but let's look at atrophy, right? Atrophy being when your muscles tend to deteriorate over time without any use. So if you're not using them, you lose them. And in that same vein, kind of like if you have a cast on your arm, your muscle will get weaker. Well, if you have shoes that have high cushions, this arch is gonna atrophy and it's gonna get harder for you to be able to walk and move on different terrains or across rocks and rivers and gorges and grasses and rocks and <laughs> gravels and whatever, right? So basically, the more you use it, the more you gain. Now, with the arch of the foot, right? Instead of supporting it with the shoe, we could support it with the foot itself. It's meant to have this arch. That said, there are 40,000 different nerve endings in your feet alone. And then on top of that, there's a third of the bones in your entire body, just in your feet, a third of the bones. So it's pretty important for us to have to be able to know and feel the ground. Another few reasons as to why we're gonna wanna be barefoot in the first place, as far as a little cold, <laughs> is um, earthing. So earthing is another thing that we're able to do where we can actually exchange electrons with the ground. And if we have a rubber sole in between that, um, in between the ground and ourselves, this can prevent us from transferring electrons and therefore we may hold a charge or have a negative charge in ourselves. So all in all, there's so many benefits to it. It cures plantar fasciitis, something I used to have as a runner. Oh, look at these beautiful, beautiful petals. I love that. Anyways, um, right, so how to build up to it. Number one, walk. Just walk on grass. Walk on something soft. Get your feet used to being barefoot in the first place. Number two, then run. And once you're running on grass, you should be striking under your shoulders with the forefront of your foot. <laughs> and then from there, once you've built that up and it should be a little easier, then we're gonna start walking on something a little harder. Gravel and asphalt. Walk on here. Get used to the gravel and asphalt first. And then after a couple weeks of this, just walking, then you run. You get used to that. Again, think about lifting your feet up, not pressing your feet down. Think about the lift, right? So as you're running, you're thinking about lifting those legs, getting the feet off the ground. And that is gonna be how we train our feet to be barefoot. <laughs> so, all in all, this is my little tutorial on being barefoot. <laughs> and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Enjoy the weather. Peace. Power. <laughs>